So here is my um, leader class slag in all of his glory. Just get a good look at him. That's a good look of his face. His Autobot symbol. Nice little detailing he's got going over there with all the grooves, etc. Nice little paint apps. That's the front view. Here's a side view where you get to see some more of his paint apps. His dino kibble isn't so much, it's just his tail. And there's his rear view where you get to see his uh, coat and coat wings, his dino wings. Another great all about symbol up there. So I'm going to show you guys his articulation. So here's his head. Let's get a good look at his head. There we go. His head could go this much down. You can actually turn it all around. But, you know, he's got this little triceratops head going on that acts like his helmet. So, um, yeah. But it could turn all around if you wanted to. These are his arms. They can spread out this much. They can turn all around as well. It's on the ratchet, so at least it does not get loose. He's got a little bit of a swivel over here on his bicep, which can turn all around. Elbow bend. He does a pretty nice elbow bend. And of course, you could turn around his wrists. So this plays a part in the transformation. For the lower body, you could turn him all the way around in the waist but uh, that's for the transformation you can spread his legs this far that's pretty cool his leg goes this far back it's on a ratchet but it could probably go all the way back but it's impeded by his tail it can go all the way kick out this much impeded oh it's not impeded by anything but this is the, the this is the uh 90 degree angle you could bend his knees of course and uh yeah you could bend his knees really far back because it's part of the transformation so you get a lot of he has got a fair amount of articulation he's um legs are sort of on a rocker as well so he could go this much so that's the points of articulation of this slag so slag's a big guy Nicely detailed, but he is a big guy. And I'll be showing you some of his accessories. He's got two main accessories, actually. First is his gun. There, his little blaster over here. Pretty nice. Nicely sculpted, got all the tubing, etc. Nice detail sculpted in it. There we go. And he's got this thing, which is a... Daniel Witwicky. As far as articulation goes with this thing, well, the arms are in a ball socket, so let's see if you can get a good look at it there. So, ball socket, this thing can go all around on a ball socket as well, but he's got no knee articulation, so he's, per so he's permanently in this sort of sitting position. So, uh, too bad the uh, helmet area is not painted, it's just plain white, but uh, that's the at least it's got this tubing over here. Um, it's not too great a figure, but but yeah, it's supposed to represent Daniel with Wiki. Here, that's the front view of this thing. Side view, rear view. So those are his two main accessories. So this little guy is a nice scale with slag and. Uh, well, if you notice, Slag's got these holes in the shoulder. You could peg, and this guy's got a peg in one of his uh, butt cheeks. So you could peg him in there on the shoulder, if you wish. Yeah, something like that. It's up to you where you want to peg him. So let me try pegging him on. There you go. There. It's up to you to pose him right, but that's more or less how you could get him on Slag. Now, what I'll show you next is Slag's um, little size comparison with Slag. This is him with RC. RC from the Siege line. So as you can see, he is 
Uh, he's a pretty big figure. He's almost around 10 inches. So that's him with RC over there. This is him with Legends Bumblebee. There's my tiny Legends Bumblebee. So it scales pretty well. Bumblebee's about the same size as a human. As you can see. So he scales pretty, scales pretty well. And this is him next to my Deluxe Optimus Prime. So if you remember the old series, um, the Dinobots are kind of like a lot taller than Optimus in robot form. So it kind of looks like on the lines of this. Although I think it would scale better with the Siege Optimus Prime, which I don't have. But this is pretty good. I'm actually alright with the Dinobots being this big. Because in the first few episodes they came out, they were really huge as robots. So that's a scale comparison. Oh, and one last. This is him with fellow Dinobot. Dinobot Commander Grimlock. They're roughly about the same size and they look very good together. So Snarl is sort of the, oh my mistake, Slag, or actually they call him Slug, but Slag, as he came out in the original series, is like the second in command of the Dinobots. I remember that episode called of the Primitives, uh, season three, where Snarl sort of took charge when they thought Grimlock got squashed by Trypticon. So yeah, he's second in command and that's the scaling that he goes by. So not bad, that looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to show you how to transform this guy. How to transform into his Triceratops alt mode. So there he is. There, so first thing we want to do is... Uh, here is a little dinosaur, hand, dinosaur um, four legs. You got to turn this thing all around, his fists. Do it in both sides, turn them all around. And fold them up. There. Just like so. Then you'd like to lower this part. Pull out this thing underneath to cover his... There. That's his mouth. Covers his robot head. So it's got two parts. As you can see, this part, the head is tucked in here. Let me just show you. So we've got this, the roof of his mouth and the lower part of his mouth. Yeah, and there's a nice little stud over there where you could plug in some effect parts. So, yeah, because if you remember the old original slag, his bio says that he's, his function is a flamethrower. Next are these. What I like to do is I like to... Uh, the head, you got to push it back a little bit to give you some room. And then these things sort of collapse into themselves, the chest. So once you got that part back, you just... Gently collapse it. There, you do it for both arms. There. Once it's collapsed, you have it around, right around. Once it's collapsed, you have it there. You put this thing back up. And then you could actually, as you can see it a little close up, you could peg in the shield components in the bottom half onto the upper shield. So you just push them in like that. So we more or less got his front part done. As for the back, I like to take this tail part out like that. Then you twist his body all around, turn it all around, and then you work on his lo his uh, rear part. So flip these two pieces down. Here. Flip those leg parts down, the, the ones on ankle rockers. You raise these pieces up, and you swing out his little triceratops rear legs. And then you lower these things back down. And from here, you could reveal his little Triceratops legs over there. And you could put these halves back. There we go. Now, the next thing you want to do is, you sort of... Um, Raise this thing up. You bend his legs into themselves so they form the rear halves of his Triceratops form. Kind of go put it in like that. There we go. Now, if you look at the bottom, you could sort of guide them into these grooves. There are some pegs that you can guide to the grooves. Let's see if we can get a good shot. This is the groove I'm referring to over here. 
and there's sort of a, a peg or a slot in his foot that you guide it into kind of like this kind of like here on the other side as you can see it's guided into that groove over there there's a good shot of it like that so you do that to both sides make sure it fits into that groove over there and then you work the tail now if you notice here it's got another groove over here for this part of the tail so you just gotta work that in make sure the halves um, fold up properly there we go once both halves have no more gaps you know you got that good this part over here covers this red peg over here so it's supposed to fit in all nicely which it which it did and then you can lower down his little his rib cage wing thingies so to do that just put that over there and close them up they should click into place as well and last but not least his tail tip which is his blaster which you slide over there there's a little bit of a hole over there so you put that right over there and here he is in triceratops mode so this is him as a triceratops front view nice big Autobot symbol his horns are hollow from the in the inner part but I guess that's alright I wish they they weren't hollow but you know that's fine this is him side view top view bottom view his robot feet are over there his gun front view and the other side view so there he is that's slag um you can move his legs all around he's got articulation here you could kind of work him into good poses by just you know moving those things around his robot arms are his dinosaur arms, so you could, you could angle it in such a way to give him a lower profile, like what I did. Kind of make him lower to the ground if you wish, or you can make him higher up the ground. His mouth opens. You can open all the way this much. You can close this much, but yeah. He's got that joint in his mouth. And those are pretty much his articulation as a dinosaur. And as mentioned a while ago, he does have this little peg inside of his mouth where you could plug in some effects parts if you have because like I mentioned this guy's function is flamethrower so here he is that slag looks very nice on the front view slag this is him with Grimlock so they look good together little Dinobot buddy of his slag and Grimlock look awesome together over there let's get him an entire shot that slag next to a deluxe size figure so it looks pretty good that's how he scales up with deluxe size figures so it looks awesome as you can see there's slag looking pretty good so overall he's a pretty nice looking solid figure over there got these two pegs up here I guess you know they kind of fit into the holes over here these ones over here so if you want Daniel with wiki to kind of ride him so yeah that's what those are for I reckon so you could put what you could put Daniel on top if you like I guess that but those pegs are for but here he is um I kind of like slag on his own I don't really have to pose him with Daniel but you know if you if you want, if you want to, you could, there are ways to put Daniel on Slag, but I kind of prefer Slag all on his own. So Slag looks really cool. It looks like a very solid, um, hunkered down Dinobot. So there he is, and he looks really good with Grimlock. Anyway, so that's my review for Leader um, Leader Class Slag from the Studio Eighty Six series. 
based off the Transformers movie. Here he is. <laughs>